Alright, hi everyone. So today I'll be doing my first review video. Uh, basically, the reason I want to do this is because uh, during the time when I was trying to form my team, I had a hard time trying to figure out which player to use because there's not much review videos on YouTube. And uh, even if there is, they are mainly in foreign languages. So I've decided to do this in English to hopefully help uh, people who are forming the teams. So today uh, I'll be reviewing on one of my favorite players, Cristiano Ronaldo. I'll do, be doing a review on the S15 version. So let's take a look at his stats first. Uh, basically for grade 1 Ronaldo, uh, let's look at his base stats. Obviously this version of Ronaldo, he has to be in the striker position because uh, his overall is at 108 for max level Ronaldo. So let's look at his uh, striker stats. So obviously Ronaldo very very fast, 89 sprint, 87 acceleration, enough to basically take him, take him away from most defenders who are not so fast. Very very good dribbling at 87, slightly low ball control. Most importantly, uh, his finishing is very high at 92 so he is very clinical, you'll see in examples later. Uh, he's got good heading, good shot power, very very good long shot, 95 and uh, most importantly I would like to point out is his positioning. Now, in my opinion, uh, strikers has to have very high positioning because they, has to have, they have to know when to be at the right place at the right time. So this version of Ronaldo, base positioning 92 is the highest positioning amongst all Ronaldo in my if I'm not wrong. And then he has very high reaction which is required especially inside the box when balls come flying at speed he has to be quick to react to different situations other important attributes uh, agility 75 not very very good average but uh, you see later agility is very important for a striker because most of the time when striker receives the ball they are back is facing the goal so they will have to be able to turn and turn quick in order to spun away from the defenders so Ronaldo in this aspect is maybe not so good 75 uh, this is just average but uh, later you will see that uh, it's actually good enough for you to turn defenders so to speak now let's look at his other tricks okay so there's nothing much here let's look at his uh, characteristics so he's got hidden, uh, not hidden, he's got traits, 7 of them, so he's obviously a perfect striker which most uh, premier strikers will have and then he's a wing player, probably some crosser kind of thing, I'm not so, so sure. Um, sky controller which basically means he's an aerial threat and then he's a dribbling master, long shot master and a free kick master. So aerial threat if you're playing a crossing kind of game is obviously most important has to be able to beat the defenders in the air. In terms of work rate, Ronaldo is a high low which in my opinion is the most important uh, trait, most important work rate for a striker because you want them to be attacking and trying to make runs behind the defense all the time and also to conserve their energy when the team is defending. In terms of price, he's averaging about 33 million which in my opinion if you compare to other strikers is actually a steal very very good value you'll see in the examples so here we can see a few examples of what he can do in game so first things first Ronaldo's high dribbling basically lets him wins free kicks and fouls easily and then in this example we can see some of his other attributes like his pace and most importantly his positioning as you can see here he make a run into the D area and then uh, at the right time receives the ball from Robin and uh, puts it in the back of the net with his high finishing so it, positioning is really important for a striker and this Ronaldo has the best positioning and in this example you can see his agility with a quick turn and uh, puts it into the net so this is something very important for strikers as well that I realize that agility must be very high for them to make twists and turns and uh, let's look at this example so Neuer launches it quick uh, and then we have Ronaldo here on the ball so he passed it to Robin and then makes a very quick run down the line uh, and we can see that the defender can't catch up so with his high dribbling he can do stuff like this where he just skins the opponent and because of his 5 star skill he can do this sort of skills and then put it in the back so the 5 star skills is uh, not very important in my opinion but uh, it is nonetheless a nice bonus to have and then here we see Ronaldo once again uh, he's foul here but look at him once he gets up he sees a gap in the defense and he runs quickly 
faster than the defenders and just receives the true ball and then put it in the net. So his pace is really a asset here because he's able to outrun most defenders. Once again with his pace he's able to outrun the defender and here we'll see the 5 star skill again with a turn and then uh, just buries it into the net. So his finishing is really very good uh, combined with his pace and his uh, positioning basically makes him the perfect striker in my opinion. Uh, let's look at this example here. So we've got uh, Messi now. So basically he gets the ball to... So look at Ronaldo now. So he realised that uh, Muller is not going to make a, a pass to him. So he runs into the box, receives it and he's got enough height, enough jump and enough heading ability to just hit him and put it into the net. So this is also another attribute because he's a able threat. So he is able to basically out jump a lot of defenders because of his height. Penalty wise, he is actually not very good. If I'm not wrong, his penalty rating is about 94 at max level. It's not very good, but as you can see here, it gets the job done. Basically, penalty ratings, in my opinion, is not so important. It's more about controls. Okay, so Ronaldo once again with the nice run. And uh, you can see that because of his positioning, he's able to run and uh, break the offside trap and receives the true ball like this. Here we have Vidic with the ball, so basically we have uh, Ronaldo once again, uh, he's making a very good run and then with his high dribbling, he's able to dribble through the defense and uh, basically score. So this Ronaldo basically, he has a uh, high positioning, I've said many many times, it's the most important attribute for a striker, positioning, good dribbling, good speed, good acceleration, good long shot as you can see here, very good long shot, basically he's a long shot master so to speak. So. Uh, in terms of the striker's option, I would say that he's as close to a perfect striker as possible. I haven't detected any kind of weakness yet and this is an assist. So you can see that because uh, he's got decent vision, he's able to 6 passes and um, another assist for Messi with a good pass. Uh, you see, when you use different strikers, some strikers with low vision or low passing, they can't actually uh, fit in their strike partners. But in this case, Ronaldo... Uh, he's able to do that and once again we saw a quick turn by him and that is due to his agility so i realized that it is very important for a striker to have high agility so that he can uh, turn the defenders because most of the time strikers receive the ball uh, with their back towards the goal so it is important for them to make a turn uh, that's probably also one of his greatest strengths and you can see here he makes a pass one two quick ball into the box and get a shot away Okay, so for the last part of this video, uh, I'm going to go into a detailed analysis of why Ronaldo is a world-class striker. As you can see from this setup right here, Ronaldo is going to be receiving the ball from Messi. So as Messi passes the ball to Ronaldo, right here, as you can see here, he sees that there is Robin on his left and then another right winger probably uh, Muller on his right. So as Ronaldo takes this ball, Robin is going to come in feel like so and he's going to bring this defender together with him and this is a right back. So as the play continues as you can see, Robin makes the run. Robin makes the run in field, drawing the right back together with him, leaving this area exposed as you can see here. Now this right back is following Robin. So what do Ronaldo do? He makes the pass forward, checks back right here, as you can see here, checks back, sees the gap over here, and decides to make a run like this. Okay? And this defender, who is supposed to be marking Ronaldo, is attracted by the ball. So he's following the ball movement and got sucked in by the ball. And that's Ronaldo. As you can see here, he makes a run to the far post, undetected. And by the time the defender realizes it, it's too late already. Ronaldo's got probably a couple of yards ahead. So Ronaldo is completely unmarked in the far post. Messi cross it in, and Ronaldo's got a free header. Unfortunately, he did not score. But it shows the kind of awareness, the kind of vision Ronaldo has to know exactly where are the spaces uh, on the pitch. The right wing, the right wing is exposed, and then he makes a run for that. And that's why he's a world-class player.